Hello, I'm Daniela, and in today's video, I'm going to show the process of slow stitching a Valentine medallion. Now, these medallions are fun things that you can wear or hang around your home, and they're a fun way to use up little scraps of fabric. The medallions can be any size you want, from really tiny to just an inch long or so, to three to four inches, to even a giant one, if that's something you're interested in. I'll show you my process where I just use fabric and threads, but you can embellish it with ribbons, buttons, charms, beads, or shells, just something to make it really unique. And you can make it as detailed as you like by adding additional stitches, additional layers of fabric, and lots of textures. Now here's my process. So here are examples of the Valentine medallions. There's two main features to each piece. There's the ribbon and the metal. And the metal is that heart. And as you can see here, there are multiple hearts on each piece, both for stability and aesthetics. And so I'll show you my process for how I create them and how I create this ribbon aspect or some variations that you can use for them as well. So here's the example of the Valentine medallion. And to start with, we'll just focus on this ribbon aspect. Now you can use a standard ribbon, and I just select one that I like, the appropriate width for the size medallion I want. You can even start by making your medallion and then add the ribbon. I tend to like to start with my ribbon. That seems to be the way I go. So you can start with an already created ribbon that you buy from a spool or by the yard. You can even use a piece of binding Again, it's very similar to a ribbon. I like to make my own in a lot of cases by just using fabric because I think it really enhances the ribbon. And then I can choose fabrics to match or coordinate for the medallion aspect. Now, sometimes you can find fabric that has lots of stripes in it. And so each one of these can become the ribbon as well. And this particular fabric has quite a few stripes. So that gives me lots of color options for my medallions. This one is kind of a striped piece of fabric, so I can even take this and fold it down into shape, and I have a, a nice ribbon for my medallion as well. And the same thing here. I have some fabric that has both this nice thick print, like a stripe going down, and I can use that for a nice large medallion, or it has a small one, and it even has this fabric in between. So again, there are a lot of options. Today's class, I'm gonna make my own just by using some existing fabric that I have here. I have some green fabric and this muslin that I wanna put on top of it to just give a little contrast. And I think I'm gonna use this lace. So that really gives lots of layers and lots of effect, texture, and then even the texture of the fabric beneath it. So now to consider the medallion part. Now for the medallion, I wanna make a heart. In previous videos, I've showed techniques on how to make hearts woven and hollow, and you could cut these out and these could be your medallions. So that's one way you can use existing stitching that you've already made. You can also find fabric that has a pattern, and then you play around with the different aspects of it to see if there's a particular image on that printed fabric that you like. So here I could use this floral bouquet or I could take one of these animals and use the image that's printed on that fabric. And I have some examples of that. Right. So here I just took a printed fabric that I liked and zoomed in on the part that I wanted of the fabric and just cut that out to make that the focus. And I did the same thing here with these animals. I made them the focus of each of these hearts, as well as this face. I just thought that was a really cute one. Now here I took the pattern from that previous fabric that I showed you, which had a groundhog in it, and cut it out and added it to make my Valentine medallion. In today's class, I'm just going to use some fabric that I found that I like, which is this pink fabric. It coordinates nicely with the green fabric that I chose for the ribbon aspect, and now I'll make my medallion. Now I want it to be a little substantial, so I'm going to use some batting as a layer. You can use just another piece of fabric. You can skip the batting altogether, or you can use an old quilt just as easily. So this is how I start my process. So the first thing I want to do is decide my medallion. I have my colors picked out. I picked out my colors based on these colors and patterns and textures for my ribbon. And now to make the actual medallion itself. I like to have multiple layers of hearts, two or three, and I can choose which fabric I want as my front fabric 
the one that you'll see as the focal point, the heart, or the background fabric. And I think I want this pink, this mottled pink, to be my background fabric. So I'm going to make that heart first. And I just choose the size based on any size that I want. To make my heart, I do the same procedure where I fold the fabric in half. And in this case, the fabric is a little different on both sides. So I just find the fabric that is the exact color that I want, and I just sketch in half a heart. And from here, I can see that it might be a little misshapen, so I'll just play around with it. When I have the shape that I want, I'll just cut on those lines. Now that pen that I used will be removed with an iron later, the ink. It's kind of a um, washable ink, but it doesn't get washed. The heat from the iron removes it. So here I have a nice heart, and this will be the background of my piece. And I'll save this scrap, and I have a video on how to use that scrap in a different fabric design for hearts. So now that I have the size heart that I want, I want to put a focal point on front of it. I can use beads, I can use charms, but I like to use just fabric. I like that soft look, the fabric look together. So I'll take this fabric and I'll just cut it to a more manageable size. And then I want it to be smaller than my heart here. I want the edge of this heart to show through. So I can just fold my fabric like this because it's plenty big for the top of it. And then I can just take my background heart and put it right on my fabric. And I know that that's the same size as the heart if I was to trace it. So I just like to put in some pencil marks here, just on the widest part, the narrowest. And now I'm just going to create another heart within those limits. I can even trace all the way around that heart if I was concerned about getting it exactly right. I think that looks good. I'll cut out that heart. And so now I have another heart. I can see if it fits right on top of this fabric for the background heart. And it does, it fits very nicely. I can trim down the heart if I want to, either one of them, but I'm quite pleased with that. Now I want to take a little piece of batting and I want it to be smaller than this heart. So once again, I'll cut this piece down to size just because it's easier for me to work with. And then I fold my batting in half. I'll put my heart folded in half right on top of that batting and then I cut it out just to the size. So that heart, now that I have a batting, should be the exact same size. I want it to be smaller. You can even flip it around to make sure it fits. And it's a little bit bigger. So now I'm just going to take that heart and cut it down to size. And there's a lot of leeway here. So I'm just going to cut around, making it smaller than the existing heart because all I want is a little bit of puff, a little substantialness to it. Again, I'll see if it fits behind my heart and I can trim any areas that don't fit. So now I have my heart, my metal part of my medallion. Quite pleased with the way that looks. I'll come back afterwards with an iron to get rid of any pen marks, but I'll just put a pin in there to hold it in place. So now to work on the ribbon, the part that basically hangs the heart. So I have this nice lace that I want to use, and it's thick, but not too thick. And so now I just choose if I want to use both pieces of fabric or just one. My original design was to have both pieces of fabric and the ribbon, and I still like that quite a bit. So now I'm just going to cut the fabric and I want to fold over my ribbon, and I don't need a lot. I just want it to be maybe an inch or two higher than my heart, but I like to have a little fabric going down the heart so that I can attach it by sewing it on the back. So this is about the approximate size that I want, so I'll just cut that to size. 
And now I'll cut my fabrics here. I know I want this ribbon to be just barely larger in terms of wider than my lace. So I made a cut and I'll tear that down because I like those rough edges. I think it's a nice contrast to the lace. And now I want to cut a little bit of this green. Now for the green, I'm going to just trim it with a pair of scissors. I want to cut off that pinked edge that come on these squares. And now I just want to roughly have a little bit of that green peeking out from that muslin. So I'll just cut that and then I'll just test it. If it's too thick, I can trim it down again. I like to put my lace right on that muslin fold it in half, and then put my heart together. I'll trim off the base after I start stitching it on, but I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to trim that green down just a little bit because I don't want it quite so thick. It's quite, there's quite a stark contrast with the green, and so even just a little peeking through will be effective. So I'll try that one more time. And I'm quite pleased with that. So now I want to stitch down this lace right to the muslin. I'm going to take some thread and just stitch down, starting at the bottom here, just around the perimeter, just with little stitches that anchor it into place. So I just like to go around the bottom, skipping every so often, just right up the length and then back down of this lace. And I'll show you this when it's done. So I have my lace stitched down and now I can just fold it in half and it's ready to be used as that ribbon for my heart. So I'm just gonna pin it together and just set it aside. So now to take my heart, I'll make sure it's lined up the way I want. And I'm gonna take some pink thread just because that's what I like. And I'm going to do a running stitch just around the heart here, that center heart. So I'll start at the bottom here. I'm just going to make a small running stitch all the way around the perimeter. And I'll show you this when it's completed. Traditionally, the ribbon is on top and then there's the heart but you can change it up if that's what you want. I'm gonna to continue to do it like this, but there are a couple of examples where you can have it so it's less of a medallion and more of a metal, but I think that's kind of interesting in itself. So now I'm just gonna take my heart, find out exactly where I wanna put it, if I want it to hang really low or up higher, just find that spot, remove that pin from that back piece. And I don't need this pin any longer. If I wanted to set it down, I could, but I'm just going to come in from the back, and go through the heart as well as that ribbon, and create just a few stitches to tack it into place. And I'm gonna follow the shape of that heart. And then I'll show you the completed medallion. So there I have the completed medallion. I'll take my iron and just iron that color right off from that ink. So now I wanna show you some ways you can enhance your Valentine medallion further. So now there are many ways that you can embellish your Valentine medallion. You can add buttons or beads. You can add little ribbon flowers, add lace, add lots of stitches, it really is up to you, and this is where the project becomes really unique, personal, and fun. Now, a couple of variations I did here is I added a bunch of little fabric hearts here. So there's a lot of texture, and I think that's kind of a fun little effect. I have the button here, and I added a little ribbon bar 
to my piece. And this is the inverted medallion. So I thought that was kind of cute. I took advantage of some of my fabrics that had interesting prints, and I coordinated the ribbon with the background on some of the hearts. It's just a different look. Now, if you want to wear your medallion, you can stitch on a little pin backing. This is just a textile pin, but you can also use a safety pin or even a jewelry brooch pin. And that way you can wear your medallion. I like to string them and just hang them on like a little garland over a window. I just think it's very pretty to see the different Valentine medallions. So that's how I made the fabric medallion from class today. And then I show you an assortment of different medallions I made that kind of varied by shape, size, and formation. Each one had a ribbon and a medal, and the medal was heart-shaped, so it kind of made it very Valentine-ish. It was a fun project, and I hope you found it enjoyable as well. If you did, click the like button and be sure to subscribe for more slow stitching videos. I also show a few little art videos as well. Thanks for joining me.